Black Eyes and Civvies, written by Frizz B, read by Roj Monty. Category rating Gen. Fandoms, Batman All Medias, Batman Comics, DCU. Relationship, Tim Drake and Jason Todd platonically. Characters, Tim Drake and Jason Todd. Original male characters, mentioned only character. Additional tag, Tim Drake-centric, Tim Drake has issues, Tim Drake needs a hug, Tim Drake is Robin, hurt Tim Drake, good sibling Tim Drake, Tim Drake is not okay, kid Tim Drake, well, kinda, Tim Drake wump, Jason Todd is Red Hood, protective Jason Todd, good sibling Jason Todd, Jason Todd has issues, resurrected Jason Todd, POV Tim, Drabble, sort of, protective older brothers. Description, Tim gets in a fight at school. Someone unexpected shows up for him. Tim was not having a good day at school. Some kid had started a fight with him at school, calling him nasty slurs and throwing the first punch. Of course, the teachers hadn't believed him fawning over the poor little racist homophobic asshole with one black eye who is currently cruelly targeted by the kid with the bloody nose and a face so bruised it was practically purple. Tim steamed in the chair of the principal's office, hating that he couldn't defend himself. He was Robin. He shouldn't have to take this shit. He sighed. As much as he resented it, Timothy Drake wasn't supposed to know how to fight. He couldn't afford more questions raised than there already had been. The receptionist cleared her throat and looked down her nose at Timothy. The principal will see you now. Tim slipped into the office and shut the door behind him. The principal watched him from the desk facing the door. A large figure sat in one of the chairs facing the desk. Tim frowned. Bruce was off-world, Dick was in Bloodhaven, and Damien was ten. No one else would have showed up, right? The principal nodded towards the empty chair, and Tim realized he had been lingering at the door for too long. He hurried to sit down, throwing a quick glance at the chair next to him. Tim saw a flash of white threaded in dark curls and internally groaned. What's this about? Jason snapped. I have sh- He eyed Tim. Stuff to do. Oh, right. So he would beat up Tim within an inch of his life, but he wouldn't curse in front of him because that made so much sense. The principal's jaw tightened. Your... He looked between Tim and Jason apprehensively. Timothy here got in a fight with a classmate, reportedly unprovoked. Okay, that's a total lie, Tim snapped. I was plenty provoked. He was calling me slurs, and he threw the first punch anyway, and the second, and the third. I landed one hit on him, and I'm the one in trouble? Jason cocked a brow at the principal. The principal's naturally red cheeks turned slightly redder. Timothy. Did you check the cameras? Tim interrupted. The office was deadly silent. You called me all the way over here, Jason began, clearly dangerously annoyed. You called me all the way over here without checking the stupid cameras. Wow, Jason was really sticking to the clean mouthing, Tim thought amusedly. The principal sputtered. Well... Okay, no, Jason snapped. He grabbed Tim's arm and hauled him up. Come on, Tim, we're leaving. Tim shrugged, happy to leave school early. He followed Jason out the door. When they reached the car, Tim decided to take the plunge. Why'd the school call you? Jason dug his keys out of, from his pocket, unlocking the car. Because I'm your third emergency contact number, he answered absently. Tim thought about this for a moment climbing into the vehicle. You tried to kill me. Jason rolled his eyes. That was literal ages ago replacement. I'm a changed man. Get used to it. Tim grumbled in the passenger seat. He hated having older brothers. This was such a cute fic and I am so grateful for Frisbee for allowing me to read this. Um, I suggest checking out their works. It is just adorable. Um, yeah, thank you for listening and have a good one.